Good morning once again. Welcome back to Why in the Morning. This is Man Crush Monday. And actually what we do today is talk to different men about different things and different topics. And we let the public know what is going on in their lives. Today we've got a wonderful journalist um, who's on set with us today. His name is Mr. Raymond Owiti. Mr. Raymond Owiti is currently um, undergoing what we call irreversible neurological damage to his brain. And um, he's currently asking for an appeal. What we are going to discuss today is uh, what led to this and what we are hoping for the public to do for him in this particular case. Karibu sana, Mr. Owiti. Thank you so much. Mm. Yes. <coughs> so, Mr. Owiti, why don't we jump right in? Um, so, to ask you, when exactly did you find out that you had irreversible neurological damage? Actually, before I found out that uh, I had the damage, it came about in terms of uh, like so many she's attacks mm -hmm. and uh, we thought that it was malarial attack. Mm -hmm. So when I was in high school, when I joined high school in 2009, okay. I realized that I had several continuous attacks mm -hmm. and uh, I had to now seek for medical attention mm -hmm. so that we can check on this because if it's malaria, it can be maybe once in a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I see. And um, how exactly, how long have you had it? You said since 2006? 2009. T 2009. Yeah. And how exactly has it affected you from 2009 until now? That's, that's 10 years now. Yeah. 10 years is a long time. How has it affected your life in terms of um, your family, your career? your education, yeah, and even relationships. Just to talk of uh, my family, it has been something that is uh, a very great challenge in our family because you get that our family never expected this because it's not something that is genetic. Of course. And uh, they felt like it is something that is coming in and it's not there. It was not there before. So it has affected my family in terms of uh, how we can uh, sort for uh, maybe uh, money to get uh, uh, at least some good money to get good medical attention. And at the same time, my education, it has affected my education in terms of mm -hmm. how I can relate with my fellow colleagues in school. Really? Because get that when I when I s realized that I had the attack, mm -hmm. the, the the several she's attacks in high school. Mm -hmm. Get that in high school there are so many things because this this is uh, an age that many students or many young youths always maybe uh, ridicule their fellows in school. So I felt like I should even leave school. Oh, in one okay. way or the other. That's serious. Yeah. That's quite serious. Yeah. May I ask, um, if you don't mind letting us know how you got uh, this damage to your, your brain? Okay, as I said, uh, it's something that is not genetic. Yes. Because uh, a disease like maybe epilepsy is genetic. Yes, yes, it is. And uh, this one is not genetic. Mm. So it came about because of the harsh condition that I was in when I was still young. Mm -hmm. When I was young, my parents would always leave me with the house help. Mm. And uh, mm. it was something that was so bad that this house help, instead of undertaking her duties, she would always come in and uh, maybe beat my head on the wall every what? now and then if I make a mistake. Because get that beat at that young age. on the wall? Yeah, on the wall. A cement wall. Yeah, a cement wall. Because you get that uh, when uh, somebody's still young, he or she does not know whatever is happening or whatever he or she is doing. So if I make any mistake, she'd beat my head on the wall as a punishment. Mm. So mm. I got uh, some uh, damage in my head, which caused uh, some injuries, internal injuries, mm. and that's why the attacks are there. Oh my goodness. That's yeah. that's um I'm sorry about that. Yeah, Paul Esana. How uh, so I'm 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 assuming that you've undergone some treatment. Actually 
have not go undergone some treatment. Mm. Rather, I have been uh, taking some drugs okay. that are uh, trying to control the, the intensity of uh, the she's attacks. Right. Because get that uh, these drugs uh, help me at least. I can have maybe an attack once in a month. Mm -hmm. But uh, before I could always have attacks several, uh, on several uh, uh, times, mm -hmm. get that maybe I will always have uh, uh, three or four attacks in a day. Mm -hmm. But as at now, I can even uh, it can even take maybe some some weeks to have an attack. Uh -huh. But uh, the drugs are now used to my body as at now, so you get that. I still have the attacks as before, because right. these drugs I've taken them for like ten years. Okay. You imagine ten years taking drugs; they'll be used to your body. That's true. Yeah. And um, so I, I, I hear that medication when it comes to epilepsy is quite expensive do you have someone that sponsors your treatment or your your um maybe your visits to the doctors so far how do you afford it actually it's uh, something that is very expensive mm -hmm. uh, in kenya it's about uh, it's uh, about more than five million about 10 million in kenya and uh, it's something that needs a lot of a lot of uh, uh, seriousness, as in you have to book for uh, the surgical uh, operations, mm -hmm. and uh, you also have to at least get a good uh, neurosurgeon. Mm -hmm. But uh, for me, I'm supposed to go for uh, a surgery in India, yeah. of which it's about three million. But this three million caters for my transport. It has for my accommodation, my medication, and uh, the transport uh, the transport for my escort because okay. I have to go with somebody. I can't go there alone and I'm going for a brain surgery. Who will accompany you? Uh, my uncle will accompany me okay. to India uh -huh. because he's the one who has been uh, quite uh, uh, serious with this issue. Mm. And he has been, he has been uh, engaging himself so that at least I can get help from different places. Mm -hmm. Actually, he has taken me to different places and he, he thought of, let's now sort out this issue if the other places are not of help to me. Oh. And yeah. in India, um, believing that the operation will go well, how long will, will you stay in India be? And, and also, before we actually answer that, th does the three million also cover the surgery? The, pr the three million covers the surgery also. Also? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and so how long do you know? Did they tell you? Yeah, actually they've given me some of the details. Okay, that's uh, good. I'm supposed to go to Manipal hospitals okay. in India. Mm -hmm. And the surgery is, uh, is uh, supposed to take about one month. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, I'll be done for the surgery. Wow, one month. And uh, in this, within this one month, I'll have to get healed there. Mm -hmm, yeah. Is when I come back yeah. to Kenya. Mm. Yeah, when so I'm, you have when to be I'm completely healed by the time you come back. Yeah, so that if there yeah. is anything that may crop up when I'm still there, at least it can be sorted out. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, I see. And um, uh, for your, your past in Kenya, you're saying that this treatment can be done in Kenya, only that it's much more expensive. You said around 10 million. Yeah. Where do they carry out this kind of surgery in Kenya? Do you know which hospital? Okay. Uh, it was Aga Khan that told me about the surgery. Uh -huh. There is a doctor in Aga Khan who told me about the surgery when I, f when, when I did, uh, when I went for uh, checkups. Mm -hmm. And uh, he told me that it's expensive in Kenya mm -hmm. compared to India. And at the same time, the services that may be offered to me may also not be as good as the ones that I'll get in India. That is to mean that I'll have to book for a neurosurgeon who is maybe committed also mm -hmm. uh, to other activities. And uh, he'll have to now get his, get his time so that I can at least uh, do the surgery. Yeah. And at the same time, uh, you get that in India, Mm -hmm. There are so many hospitals mm -hmm. that do this, the, the, the brain surgeries. Mm -hmm. So at least it will be better in India. I see. Yeah. And um, 
that you said that the Manipal Hospital has given you a few details. What are some of the um, details concerning your treatment in India? First of all, the details concerning my treatment is that they prefer that I go for uh, the surgery okay. with at least one escort mm -hmm. who will be my uncle, as I've told you. The second thing is that I'll have to stay there for like a month so that uh, I get healed is when I come back to Kenya. Mm -hmm. The third thing is that they can uh, get uh, my accommodation mm. because uh, they cater for my accommodation, but it is also paid for. Mm. At the same time, uh, things to do with my transport when I'll be in India, they are the ones to cater for. Then uh, everything to do with, with uh, our stay there, Mm. It is them <coughs> who will be catering for. Yeah. Okay, I see. And so, um, the appeal, actually, what we are going to ask the public for is to help Raymond raise the funds for this particular surgery. As you have been able to hear, it costs 3.3, we said 3 million? Yeah, 3 million. 3 million flat. Yeah, 3 million Kenyan shillings. Okay, 3 million Kenyan shillings flat. And um, what we want or what we would like is for the public to open up their hearts and to kindly understand the situation as it is. Already we're hearing that the medication, just the pills alone, are so expensive here in Kenya. And so the surgery, the surgery is something that he will need to correct all this so that he doesn't need to take the pills anymore. And what we're asking is that you can open up your hearts and assist this young man so that he can continue to build his life. And you see, this is a youth channel. We try to build the life of youths. We try to focus on making the lives of youths better in one way or another, in the best way that we could. And so we'd like to assist this young gentleman who is a future journalist to um, be able to achieve his dreams and also be able to stand on his own in this life as a man. And uh, the way you can do that is by reaching out to him. How can they reach out to you? Please share with them. Okay, once uh, uh, I realized that uh, I had the problem. Mm -hmm. I went to Safaricom mm -hmm. and uh, I got a pay bill number, okay. a, medi a medical pay bill number. Yes. And the pay bill number is 538098. Mm -hmm. 538098. Mm -hmm. Then the account number is your name or your phone number. Okay. Yes. So 53. Five three mm -hmm. eight zero nine eight. Account number is your name or your phone number. Yeah. And that's the way you can support Mr. Owiti so that he can be able to go to India and get surgery for what they're calling the irreversible um uh, neurological damage but we're believing and trusting that it will be reversed and that he will be perfectly fine and that the situation will be sorted out if there are any questions that you have you can feel free to ask and you can also feel free to communicate with us tell us what you think and tell us how you'd like to help out as well and our social media handles are on Facebook that is Y254 channel on Instagram is Y254 underscore channel on Twitter it is Y254 channel and me I'm Joy underscore Mochache Mr. OET, do you have any social media handles in case anyone has some kind words if they cannot if they cannot provide funds? Okay, you can also reach me uh, out on uh, Facebook as Raymond Ian. On Instagram, I'm also Raymond Ian. And on Twitter, Raymond Ian. You can always ask me any question that you would wish to ask me. And at the same time, you please be free and uh, if maybe you have a solution to this, you can also help me out so that I can uh, overcome this problem because it's not a problem that many will wish to have in life. Mm. Yes, that's very true. That's very true. And are there a lot of people in Kenya who are currently, do you know um, the statistics on this particular issue when it comes to Kenyans? Are there many who are living with it? There are a number of people who may be living with it because you get that the society has uh, become very different. You get that people who uh, always maybe uh, 
uh, employ some house helps, but they don't know the nature of what is happening at home. Because you get that these house helps, some of their employers will always leave them with their, with their children at home, and uh, you don't know where this, uh, what this house help is doing, where this house help is coming from, or the character of this house help. Like mine was caused by a, a house help, but somebody will always think that it's something that is uh, maybe related to witchcraft or uh, something that is related to epilepsy. Because whenever I have attacks, it's just maybe it's just like epilepsies. Yeah. Mm, I'm so sorry about. We do have to wind up the show and um, let's be careful we let into our homes. Let's be careful we let around our children. You've heard how Mr. Raymond, um, Mr. Witty, got the damage to his brain was through, um, as he specifically mentioned by himself, a house help who was banging his head against a cement wall as a means of punishing him. And uh, so let's try our best to open up our hearts generously and please repeat the number last time before we close off the show. Okay, my medical pay bill number is 538098. 538098. It is my plea that you give whatever you have, and I will also be happy if you give me some spiritual support apart from the financial support because everything works out only when we come together and hold our hands together to sort out a problem. That's true. Thank you so much, Mr. Witty, for availing yourself. Thank you so much for uh, explaining to people what you're going through. And we'll make sure that we support you and we'll make sure that you, we keep you in our prayers. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. Coming up next is one um, Hilda Wadidi with the Youth in Politics.